Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Charles Maring. Welcome to the Art Studio. Today we're going to be talking about the Lumix S1 and S1R full frame mirrorless cameras from Panasonic. I've got some video autofocus tests here to share with you guys with the latest version of the firmware. Got some other things to talk about as well, so stay tuned. <laughs> Lumix S1 and S1R are two highly anticipated cameras coming out this year in the photographic and film industries. And you, it, no matter what camera you photograph with, you should be rooting for this camera to succeed because the specs they've rolled out are industry leading in many ways. And if they live up to those specs, it's going to be pretty remarkable. It's going to force the industry forward to evolve and innovate. And that's only a great thing for the consumer and the photographers and filmmakers out there. Uh, with that said, I was just down in Austin, Texas uh, for the Panasonic Lumix dealer event. Uh, I, myself and my wife, were both Lumix ambassadors. We've been shooting Lumix cameras for the longest time. And uh, we were invited down to spend a day learning about the ins and outs of the camera from those who know the science behind it. And so we got to ask a lot of questions and we asked about the AI and how that works. We, we asked about the video autofocus modes and photo autofocus modes, uh, high resolution modes and so much more. And once we learned all of those things, we actually went out to Laguna Beach for a few days and did several tests on the cameras and a little bit of a warmer climate. And in our vlogs, you'll see some of these tests come to life and you'll certainly get to see a lot of clips on the S1 as well. I want to talk about the AI for a moment before we share these tests because I think it's very important to understand what Lumix is thinking and where they're going with their technology. And the best way to share this is probably to go through the iPhone and just show you an example of, of, of a way that they shared it with me. So let me dive in here and just get into the phone. I'm going to turn it on. Great. And we'll open up the Photos app. And now let's... Oh, this is my new sign, by the way. I had somebody on Etsy make it for me. Isn't that pretty cool? And it'll rust in time, just really subtle. Uh, let me get to where we're going, which is search. And if I type in the word dogs as an example, D-O-G-S, at the top it brings up dogs, hound dogs, Eskimo dogs, St. Bernard dogs. It gets to know what kind of dog. It labels them. There's 986 dogs in general. And then... Uh, we go down, I'm going to click on dogs, and it doesn't seem to care whether it's a portrait of the dog facing forward, whether the dog's laying on its side, whether it's a video of the dogs playing in the snow, one from the front, one from the back. Uh, it doesn't seem to care what's up with the dog if the dog's wearing bunny ears if it's not even a real dog <laughs> it brings up all the different dogs and so think about that in a blink of an eye that fast your phone has the ability to pull all of that up imagine that applied to autofocus in which the camera faster than that because otherwise the moment's gone it can distinguish if it's a dog dog laying on its side dog running away um, multiple dogs, so on and so forth. That's pretty powerful information. And that's what they're working on putting into these camera systems via firmware updates. And they have to log all of this types of information on a supercomputer and then kind of transfer it over. So that's pretty phenomenal concept. Think about the power of that, but also think of the processing power it takes and how powerful the processor is. And a camera also makes a difference in how well it can perform. So with that said, after learning about this, I said, well, I'm going to go to Laguna Beach and I'm going to do some tests of the video autofocus mode. And we actually did two of them of the same thing, one in a very harsh lighting condition, this one in another in a normal lighting condition. Let's let it roll. I'm testing out the video autofocus on the Lumix S1 and I am in face detection mode. And I'm going to see if it will follow our subject. I can see the box following our subject now. Jennifer, go low. See if it focuses back and come up. Great, the box found her face, refocused. Turn and run away from the camera. And the box gets smaller and smaller until she's so far away it doesn't matter. Come back, run back in. 
The box appears, focuses on her face, peace sign, focuses on her hand, take it away, focuses on her face. And so just to be safe, we decided let's do it on a different lighting condition and see what the result would be. And so I'm going to share that one with you next. Let me go to the next one. Same test though. So we're doing some video autofocus test on the Lumix S1 to see how it performs. We're in face and eye detect mode and there's a box around Jennifer's face now. She's completely in focus. Jennifer, why don't you run away from the camera and see what happens. So as soon as she turns, I see the box change from her face to a body detect mode until it finally gets small enough that it disappears because everything should be in focus at this point. Jennifer, run back to the camera. And right about now, the body box appears and the face box appears. She's in focus. Jennifer, disappear again. And now, as you can see, it focused to the background. But when she comes back up, the face box appears. It focuses on her face. Put a peace sign out in front. Let's see what happens. It focuses to her hand. And take that hand away. Focuses back to her face. So the DFD autofocus system for video on the Lumix S1 is definitely much improved over other systems and uh, quite impressive to say the least. Now looking at this, it did a tiny bit better in the flatter lighting conditions than it did in the very harsh and contrasty conditions, but still very acceptable in both situations. And it actually did fail me twice. And the reason it failed me twice, I realized afterwards, was when my wife put her fingers out for the peace sign, she didn't cover her eyes. And so, yes, the camera's looking for the eyes and wanting to focus on that. So if you keep any kind of eyes in your camera, that's gonna make a difference in that mode. But with that said, that's our first test of the video autofocus that we're sharing here on our channel. Again, go behind the scenes of our vlog, see lots of clips that we've done with this and lots of photographs as well. Uh, we also do a high resolution mode that we did in our last vlog. We'll go into some more depth with that here in Tech Talks also because it's such an interesting feature. And with that said, that's a wrap for today. I appreciate you everybody. Have a great one. Our channel focuses on creativity, living the dream, and a positive outlook. Subscribe and join us. Go behind the scenes via our vlog, but also learn from us via Tech Talks, tutorials, and reviews from the perspective of two full-time artists at work.